What do you want first? <laughs> Hey, what's up painters? So I've been doing a bunch of live streams lately and anyone that's pretty consistently watching my channel You've probably seen some of this I've been working on some new channel art for my profile picture and a banner So today I thought I would show you guys how to design your own custom YouTube banners I'm gonna show you how to do it on Photoshop and on procreate I personally use procreate a lot more, but I know some people may not have access to that So I'm gonna show you how to do it on Photoshop as well. So we're gonna start with Photoshop super super simple I'm gonna put a link link in the description. All you have to do is download that Photoshop document and then once you open it, you're going to find a template already made out for you. Everything will be labeled. The template will already be the exact size you need. It'll give you a TV banner size, a desktop banner size, and a mobile banner size. It's going to tell you exactly where everything's going to fit, where you should have your text, everything. Photoshop, super simple. Link in the description to get that download. Boom, that's it. After that, it's all your own art. You do whatever you want. I'm gonna go in depth with Procreate because that's what I use, but Photoshop, link below, download it. Super simple, you're done. Get out of here if you aren't using Procreate. Go on, get, get out of this video. Procreate only. So, we're gonna get into Procreate. What we're gonna do, open up our Procreate. We're gonna go to new canvas. We're gonna need uh, three custom canvases. I'm gonna tell you guys why in a bit. Our first one is gonna be 2560 by 423. We'll go 300 DPI. That's fine for what you're doing. Create that. So this specific template is going to be what you're going to use for your desktop size banner. Before we even start doing any art, I want you guys to exit out, go back to new template, and I want you to make another one that's 1546 by 423. Same thing, same DPI. Create that. Now, color that in whatever color you want. This is all how I do it. I know there may be other ways. I'm showing you the space case method. Fill that in with any color, export it. We're gonna use that as a reference image. Go back to our 2560 by 423, our desktop banner, insert a photo, add that. Now, we have this white and this red here. The white is your desktop size. The red is everything that'll be shown in mobile. You can drop the opacity down on that red so it doesn't command your attention, but you wanna have that as a reference. That way you know, I at least need to have like my text and my main images within this red square. That way I know if somebody's looking at my channel on mobile, it's not gonna get cut off. They're gonna see everything I want them to see. You want all of your important information on this red banner here. Everything else after that is just extra fun art for desktop, no big deal. I mentioned that there was a third one. We're not gonna get into that now. We'll wait until a little bit later once all of our regular art is done. Then I'll show you guys why you're gonna need a third size. But for now, we're good. We can start working on this desktop banner. For this specific one, I'm not doing art for myself. My little brother's birthday just passed last week. Just turned 17. He's been streaming on his own YouTube channel. He doesn't have a banner. So I offered, hey, for your birthday, I'll make you a YouTube banner. So I've got some concept art here. Uh, we got a monster football player and a PlayStation controller and a little monster football. My little brother there's a kicker for his football team so I wanted to include a little football player for him and then you know the video games and he likes the piano so we're gonna fit a piano somewhere in there as well I've already got my concept sketches I'm gonna take photos of them drop them into procreate and we're gonna get this art done <laughs> We're back. Our cover art is done. We got him to approve it. Everything's cool. He's happy with it. I'm happy with it because I got to do something that isn't traditionally my style. I don't do a lot of like football players or like sports, but I still got to keep it kind of monstery. It fits for him. It's stuff he likes, and I got to put my own little style on it. So export it, PNG, airdrop it over to our laptop. Burp one time. If you burp two times, all of this was for nothing. You blew it. We need to log into Evan's YouTube account. So we're into his account. We're gonna go to the channel. I've already put this banner up. So I'm just showing you guys the process. I've already 
customized his channel. So as you can see, everything fits fine. But I'm gonna show you why we needed a third canvas. So select a photo. We'll go to the downloads where we just brought that over from. So there we go. There's our untitled artwork. This was our 2560 by 423. Let's upload that. So apparently the photo we uploaded was too small. It has to be at least 2048 pixels wide and 1152 pixels tall. I knew this was gonna happen. I just wanted to show you guys. This is why we need a third template. Bring it on back to our iPad. We're gonna go back to Procreate and then we'll make our last one 2560 by 1440. Create that. Now, this is just your TV size. This doesn't have to be all art. No one that's looking on mobile or desktop is even gonna see this. So if you wanna just go one solid color, maybe a gray, and then go over the whole thing like that, that's okay. Drop your other banner into this image like this. Boom, that's what it's gonna look like on a desktop. You don't need all the extra art on there. It's unnecessary. This right here, is what matters. And remember how I said that red block was gonna be the mobile? So if we were looking at Evans on mobile, his name is in there, that's important. The football is in there and half the game controller and half the football player. So even on mobile, because we had that red reference to see like, okay, this is our cutoff, let's make sure we have everything in there. We know that most of our art is going to make the cut. Everything we want people to see, oh, he plays football, we need some of the football player. Oh, he's playing video games, we need some of the controller. His name's in there, all the important stuff is is within that red block. So like I said, three boxes. You've got 2560 by 423 for your desktop size art, 1546 by 423 for your mobile art, 2560 by 1440 for your TV. That 2560 by 1440 with everything in there is gonna be what you upload and that's what's gonna make your channel look good. Once you have your TV size, export it, bring it over, upload. I'm gonna show you guys what everything looks like. First, we got the desktop size. As you can see, all of our art made it in there. <laughs> Open up our YouTube app, Evan Robinson. That's what we got on mobile. As you can see, his name is visible, half the football player is visible, and the controller is visible. Everything we wanted to be shown is there. I'm not bringing up the TV because I can't screenshot a TV, but TV size, you're gonna see the same thing except there'll be a gray background. It's fine. Super, super simple if you have the proper tools. Procreate an iPad. And like I said, Photoshop, equally as easy. I just wanted to give you guys the basic templates and file sizes that you're gonna need to be working with to make good channel art. Dude, channel art can make a huge difference. When someone clicks in and they wanna see what you're about, if you just have some like blank color with like Times New Roman font, like Austin Robinson art, that's boring. No one's gonna like look twice and they're gonna be like, ah, whatever. But if you got some awesome, cool cover art, people are gonna stop and be like, whoa, what's going on here? They say don't judge a book by its cover, but we all know damn well we're judging books by the cover. So people are judging your YouTube channel by your profile photo and your banner. And damn it, I'm here to help you guys. So you do what you're told. You go make yourself some good banner art. You like this video, you share the video because I'm helping you guys. You know, I know I joke around a lot, but I do have some good knowledge to offer. So just wanted to share some knowledge with you guys here on YouTube. So get on it, get your channel banners put together. Shoot me a DM on Instagram, tag me. If you guys make your own banner using my profile sizes, I want to see. And like I said, Photoshop, download the link in the description. Super easy for you. It'll walk you right through it. You don't even need me to explain any of that. My little brother has his channel art now. Happy birthday to him. Everybody do him a favor. Go check out his channel. It was his birthday. You know, hook him up. Maybe subscribe. Check out one of his gaming streams. That's it. That's all I got to say today. I got to get back to doing my own art for clients. I got a couple commission spots open. I'm willing to knock out a couple banners. Feel free. Reach out through DM or email. Get your pricing together. We'll get you your banner made. Thank you guys for watching. Like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Peace.